Now that we know about Libs Elliott's quilt squares, let's make our own. So you're going to need one large square, one large triangle, and two small squares. The large triangle, you can choose to fold it in half and cut it into two, small, two smaller triangles. or you can just leave it as a large triangle. For this video, I'm just gonna leave mine as a large triangle. For the two small rectangles, you can fold it in half along the diagonal and cut along the diagonal to make two smaller triangles, or you can just cut along the diagonal and make two smaller triangles. It's up to you. Now, this next Part is optional. You can cut those triangles in half to make smaller triangles, but I would leave some larger triangles so you can have some variety. The next part is arranging. So you're going to be layering your triangles on top of each other, play around with your composition, and once you have what you feel like looks good for you, then you're going to get your glue stick and start gluing down your small triangles on top of the square. Start with your smaller bits, like these triangles here. Make sure to get those tricky little corners. And then you can pick up your larger pieces and glue those down. Once you're done, double check those tricky corners and tack those down as well. Don't forget to cap, screw down and cap your glue sticks. The next part is to write a thank you for our Veterans Day uh, celebration. We're gonna be making a Veterans Day quilt and it would be nice to write a nice little thank you note. There's some ideas for you on the handouts. So I'm gonna write happy Veterans Day and thank you for your service. And remember, once you're done, do make sure that the cap is really tight on that pen and put away your glue sticks in the bin, your scissors back in the scissor bin, and your fine tip pen back in the extra fine tip pen bucket in the orange tray.